as far as picking up the pieces after tonight and starting to look ahead, who is the leader of the Democratic Party here in the state of Florida? Who is the one to rally and say, this is where things went wrong. We have to establish a new identity and carry things forward and try to shift things back in our favor. No, it's a good question because uh, there's going to be a change. So I think, again, I think the Democratic office holders that are left standing tonight are really um, very strong leaders or they would not have been reelected. Some of them were reelected by a lot. So I think Representative Soto becomes an important leader. And um, whether it's the Puerto Rican community or the I-4 corridor, Representative Castor is already a national leader on climate change issues, which is going to continue to be a major issue, not just for Democrats, but for Republicans and independents in the country. We're going to have to work together on that. Representative Wasserman Schultz, I think, is a key leader in South Florida. And I think ultimately the best type of support and power comes from the grassroots. And so I think it's people that won school board races tonight or city council Names races that we otherwise we, we don't know, know right now we really know. don't know yeah. yeah and uh and i think again i we'll see what the republican party that owns tallahassee does with the legislature and if that creates some disenchantment don't forget about the independents i mean they are one of the fastest growing groups in this state they go back and forth between each parties i'm guessing tonight they probably went with the republican party <laughs> particularly on the economy yeah I mean, but when tonight, you're looking, you're looking here at a 19 point per, yeah, you know, it's the 90 yeah. percentage point difference. Yeah. So. But I think the story tonight is going to be about turnout. I think you got to give Governor DeSantis credit that he ran a very well oiled machine. He turned out voters. I agree with the senator. It, it was a compelling message about the economy. It, 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 it's tough. Governing is hell. Uh, Joe Biden has not pulled this, the country out of the ditch yet from covid and inflation and problems with energy. And he's got two more years to do that. But I think a lot of these voters are going to respond to the economy and to solutions. And the next thing up in Florida is property insurance. And big, that's what big story that our own Mass Society has been covering uh, hourly. I mean, I'm not even talking, she yeah. lives and breathes yeah. property yeah. insurance and the crisis that has occurred here in the state of Florida. 